All right, hello everyone. My name is Miss Letha. If I didn't have the pleasure of meeting you before all this craziness happened, it is very nice to meet you. I hope that you guys are all doing um, your homework for these last couple of weeks of school, and I hope that your loved ones and you are safe during this very uncertain time. All right, so today we're going to be going over Animal Crossing again. So once again, uh, for this video to be relevant to you, you're going to need a Nintendo Switch and you're going to need the game. So, uh, today we're going to be going over things that you should do on your island every day. Um, so, you should always shake your trees because when you shake your trees, uh, sometimes you'll get furniture. So, there's always one piece of furniture that you'll get every day. Um, and then, on top of that, you need to make sure... Oh, uh, bells will also come out from time to time. And so a wasp nest. So in order to avoid a wasp nest, you're going to want to either go into one of your residence houses or you're going to want to go into your museum, your residence services, or any of the shops. Um, just to ensure that you don't get stung. Now if you do get stung, uh, you can buy medicine from the shop or you can craft your own medicine, which requires, I think, a, a beehive, which is what I just picked up, and um, weeds. So, if you guys just noticed, I went ahead and uh, shook my tree and a bell fell out, and so a hundred bells fell out, and I immediately picked it up. So, another thing that you're going to want to make sure to do during, like, every day you get back on this game, after you do your homework, of course, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you look for fossils. So, when you look for fossils, and you take them to Blathers, who is the owl in your museum. You're going to, uh, he's going to, you're going to have to get them assessed. So let's go do that. So you're going to get your fossils assessed. And then if you don't already have that fossil in your museum, then he will take it from you. And if not, then you, if you already have it, then you have the option to either sell it or to keep it. Um, personally, I always sell them because... Uh, I have no interest in the fossils, so. So, on the second option right here is assess fossils. So, I have two of them in my inventory right now. And so, you can click more than one. I didn't know that for a minute. So, you can click more than one. Um, and then he'll look at them. So, he, they already have those fossils. So, I can't donate them again. So, I go ahead and sell them to Timmy and Tommy. Um, honestly, I think the museum is super cool. It's just, I don't want fossils for my personal inventory. Okay, cool. So, another thing that you're going to want to do every day is not run into a tree. Um, is uh, go find your rocks. Alright, so in my other video I said that if you uh, eat a piece of fruit, you become super strong, right? Well, you don't want to do that with the rocks on your particular island because then you're, gonna be, you're going to like destroy your rocks and then you're not going to have any rocks on your island so then you can't capture, you can't like get stone or iron or clay without going to a remote island or asking your friends for it so um you're gonna want to go to all your rocks and you're going to want to hit them uh kind of quickly because like i said in the other video that if you don't hit them all like kind of quickly then uh you won't get as much resources as you should um also there's always a money rock every day so whenever you hit one of your rocks it will produce bells and let's see luckily mr snail all right so this one isn't it either so you're just gonna go to all your rocks and do the same thing another thing that you can do every day is you can uh, not use this kind of uh this kind of tool but you can use the rounded version of this tool so the stone one 
and oh here's my money rock and then you can um harvest your wood so you're just gonna go up your tree and you're gonna hit it three times and then it'll produce wood for you um the thing is if you use this one that i'm currently using then it is going to cut down your tree and you don't really want that unless you know you're trying to clear an area but uh personally i try not to do that because um, your trees always produce good things for you. So, another thing uh, you can do is you can go, if you have a favorite resident on your island, you need to talk to them every day in order for them to feel, uh, to feel like that you care about them. And because they're your favorite resident, you don't want to lose them. So I always talk to my villager Kevin every day because um, I don't want him to leave my island or even think about leaving my island because he's my favorite. Um, one more thing that you can do is you can go into your, uh, residents houses and when you do that, sometimes they'll be crafty and if they are, you go and talk to them and they, uh, give you whatever DIY they're working on. And sometimes they have some really awesome stuff and sometimes it's stuff you already have. And if it's stuff you already have, then don't worry, you can drop it like I did up here you can drop them and if you ever have anybody visiting your island then they can see if they want them and they can pick them up or you know you could sell them but yeah so once again I hope you're all being safe and I'll see you guys next time bye